Welcome to our 1.20 world in the beautiful Cherry Grove. Recently we got sniffers and I asked you guys for some sniffer names. The only problem there is I forgot we don't actually have name tags yet. So we will use your name ideas but first we need to get those. We do have this decent fishing rod I found with like of the sea so maybe we can fish them up. I would like to build us a nice fishing spot anyway. We have this random pit area which could make a beautiful fishing lake. We could even add a fisherman's house and, I don't know, other stuff around it. The only thing really in this area is a mysterious book in Lecton. While we're here, I wonder if the book has anything new to say today. I see you're getting the hang of enticing new citizens to live in Ruby Hollow. You may have seen professions like farmers and fishermen on your travels before, but there are some rare and unique professions too that you may not have heard of. Try building a dark secluded space with crystals and magic if you would like to attract some mysterious new citizens. Well I think with that mission and building a fishing lake we have plenty to do. We're going to start with the fishing lake by making an infinite water source and then filling this area with water while we also consider what to do for a dark magical space. Well, I think this looks like a lake and it's definitely deep enough in the middle for some fishing. I think to get treasure they have to be at least 4 blocks deep maybe, but it's at least 6. Obviously this lake is very plain right now, but I think we're going to go for a slightly magical and also very floral theme around it. I especially want to use some of the new sniffer flowers we have. And then of course if we do kind of a magical theme for the fishing lake, that'll fit well for what the book asked us to do as well. A dark secluded space with crystals and magic. I'm thinking we make a lakeside cave. But first, we need to go on a mission to collect supplies. So we'll put some of our stuff away and try to go get a bunch of different flowers from the flower forest. And I think we also, yeah, we don't have any lily pads, so we'll try to go to a swamp and find some of them. I know that there's a flower forest somewhere kind of on the other side of our mountain, so we'll try find that. We haven't really been there before, but I've seen it in the distance. Oh, look, here it is. Look at that. There's so many tulips. Oh, and alliums. They're kind of magical looking. I definitely want those. Okay, so we have a little collection of pretty flowers here, but next item on the list of things we need is lily pads. I haven't been to the swamp yet, but I've seen some kind of in the distance in this direction. Kind of past where our dig site was. Also, I haven't seen any mangrove swamp and it would be really nice to get mangrove wood if we can find that. Well, this is a start, I guess. I think we found the smallest swamp ever. But I am going to get some more vines while we're here. And let's see, does it even have lily pads? There's a couple over here. This is a start. Where there's one bit of swamp, but there's possibly more, right? Also, what is this? I guess it's an ocean ruins. It's just very, I don't know, perfect and sticky outy. As usual, I failed to bring my archaeology brush, so that's kind of pointless. Oh my gosh, how many drowned are there in this thing? Go away. Oh, I guess there's, oh, I see more ruins over there. Okay, what is in the chest? Not a lot. Oh, unbreaking. Oh, someone's throwing tridents at me. This is my cue to, oh, my boat. No, 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 no. Oh, but the good news is this area looks like a little bit more swamp. Yes, it is. Oh, I want you and you. And of course, what we came for, all of these. Next, I decided to cruise beyond the swamp and keep exploring. I'd really like to find a coral reef and get some coral for our lake. Then we found our first pillager outpost. Oh my gosh, I wonder if this is going to have a new armor trim in it. Okay, the tactic is to rush in and rush out. Okay, nobody's in here. This is actually really easy. Oh, we got a horn! No armor trims though, but this is so cool. I'm going to annoy all the pillagers. Okay, let's continue onwards. After a lot of boating around, we managed to find the coral reef. So I used my new silk touch pickaxe to collect coral and also got some sea pickles. 
Then I decided to head back home and on the way back we found the tiniest ever mangrove swamp. It's just this tiny island and we can't take much because we have a very full inventory but I managed to grab a couple of proper gills. And now we're back, we've got all of our stuff so let's decorate this lake. We will start with actually inside and on top of the lake. I've been adding some stone slabs as rocks and then I thought we'll start by just going around using bone meal. Super easy, helps cover all the dirt. And now that that's done, let's add some sea pickles and the occasional piece of coral. We're not going to go too overboard with the coral though, just a little bit. Okay, now we have a lovely lake with the coral and the sea pickles. Next, I want to add a few fish. This is going to take a while, we're going to have to take a couple of buckets and go back and forth from the water all the way over the hill. Maybe we just won't have too many fish. Oh, it's looking nice in the evening. Look at that subtle glow. Now we have the fishies in the lake. Here they are. And I also decided to add this waterfall kind of going into the lake. So I had to extend it, but I think that'll be cute. But now let's work on the top of the lake. Of course, we need to add lily pads. But I would also like to try adding... Oh, that did not go how I wanted it to. I was trying to place the dirt on the grass and then the grass just disappeared. But I was thinking of making some kind of lily design using trapdoors and coral. And just kind of seeing what this looks like. We could even surround it with lily pads as though they're leaves. Are these things directional? I don't think they are. No, this is the same every time I put it down. But how does it look from far away? Uh, no, okay. Maybe with just the two either side. Oh, that's a bit better. I feel like that is a maybe. Also, can we have lanterns on? No, we can't. Okay, let's make a few more of these flowers. Next, we're going to make a few cherry boats to have out on the lake. And a little mini progress update. So we've got all of our lilies and our boats, of course, in the water. And then I also started making some of the sections on the shore a little bit rocky like this. We still need to do a lot more of this around that side and also add some more details, but I think this is going to be cute. Oh, also, some of the stone I've been using here is sourced from a hole I've been digging out over here. So through here is going to be our dark secluded magical cave for a mysterious villager. But before we do anything in this and anything more on our lake, we need to get a few more supplies. We're going to go down to our cave and get as many amethyst buds and crystals as we can. Then we'll visit our sniffers and see if they've dropped any more of these pretty flowers. And lastly, we'll get some honeycomb together to make a few candles. Actually, that process might take a little while, so why don't we do that firstly instead of lastly? We have a beehive right outside our house. Here it is. So we'll start with this one. Of course, with trapdoors to protect the bees from the fire. And we should be safe. Yes. And there's usually plenty of hives around here. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. So we can go ahead and use this one as well. Oh, geez. What are you doing here? So next, I went down to the geode and collected our amethyst crystals. Then visited the sniffers to get some plants off them. And then placed the crystals, the flowers and everything else to finish off the lake. This lake is looking so pretty. I love it. And I do want to move on to working on the cave over there though. I left this area a little bit bare so we can do a kind of cave entrance. And I also left this area a little bit bare so that we can make a fishing hut. But I do love how this is going. I think the crystals and the pitcher plants in particular make it look very magical. But let's have a go at making our magical cave starting with the outside. We need some kind of doorway. We might go with the idea that this is like a cave, but it's also been semi-converted into kind of a hobbit hole. So we will make an entrance that looks a little bit more man-made. And around it, we'll try to go for a bit of a circular exterior with the spruce wood. small but cute and then we will continue with the terraforming and the bone milling around it. 
We're also going to create a balcony outside it that leads into stairs going up the hill. So from over here on the dock, this is the exterior we ended up with. And I've started working on the inside, mostly just the walls, floor and roof. We still have a lot to add, but this is how it's going. It ended up looking very small as I filled it with stuff, but that is okay. So I tried to make it as though there's kind of a little amethyst geode in the middle. And it's still a very natural cave, but there's also some man-made areas built into it. And of course, we want kind of fantasy magical vibes, so I've brought some stuff for that. I think around the middle we will place our one and only spore blossom. And then I think these flowers look very fantasy-like and magic. We also have some candles, which I want to kind of put around the amethyst. Like a weird circle of, I don't know, something. Yeah, that's good. And we will light them all. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. And then we can start to remove the torches. And our other light source can be glowberries. Well, this actually looks really cool and ominous like this. But I also don't want mobs to spawn. We also have leaves. And I want to get some more of these crystals, but the smaller ones. I think we have some more in our storage. And then lastly, we really just need to get these sorted. These little wall sections. And to add some final details to these areas, like I have some chisel bookshelves, which I'm very excited to use. I think we are done with the cave. So coming inside, this is what it looks like. Okay, I hear a witch. Kind of fits the vibe though. But we have our weird geode candle circle and my other favourite part, the counter with all of these bookshelves. These are so cute, I love them so much. And hopefully some kind of magical villager will love all of this too and we'll have someone move in. All of this took way longer than I thought it would, so I think we're going to have to leave the fishing hut that's going to be here for next episode. I don't want to rush this area because I feel like it could look so nice when it's done, but I want to make sure that everything is good. Eventually we'll make more houses up in the mountains, I think, and we're going to convert this hole, of course. One day this will actually be a really cool mining area. But oh my gosh, the whole point of the lake originally was fishing, so we've got to try it out with our fishing rod. Hopefully it'll give us lots of treasure. Let's go with lack of the sea. Oh wait, actually, maybe we should combine them. Oh, it costs 12, okay. Maybe a six? Yeah, okay, let's do it. And now we can spend the evening fishing. It's a cod. Oh, a saddle. So I spent the rest of the evening fishing before heading to bed. I have a strange feeling we might just have a new citizen by morning. 